Finally here at 530, this eye-opening statistic, the Association of American Medical Colleges projects a shortage of up to 40,000 primary care doctors here in the U.S. over the next decade. That means many Americans could lose access to primary care, which research shows improves our overall health, leads to less chronic illness, fewer hospital visits. Well, now one of our local universities has a plan to try to confront this looming shortage head on. Dr. Sean Cannon is the Dean of the Proposed College of Osteopathic Medicine at DeUville University. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. I told you a little bit earlier, I did not know that DeUville University was, was planning on creating a medical school. I'm sure some of our viewers didn't know this either, but in the context especially of this doctor shortage, it seems like this would be very welcome news. Correct. We all are aware that uh, everyone has trouble finding doctors these days. Yeah. And uh, DeUville has c turned to the health professions under Dr. Lori Clemo. And, you know, to crown off working with all the other health professions, it's supposed to be a team plan. Mm -hmm. So DeUville has everything except physician. So now they'll have physician as well, and hopefully they will all work together to make healthcare better. Yeah, what is the process like to create a new medical school? And I'm sure some people are wondering, what is a College of Osteopathic Medicine? Sure. So a College of Osteopathic Medicine is accredited by a different body than the, the MD schools. Mm -hmm. um, but the process is very s similar and it's a rigorous process, takes years and we're almost there. And that's why we are talking about uh, it today because it's been going in the works for about two and a half years and we're almost to the point at the next level where we can announce we can um, attract students. Right now, we're really trying to attract faculty, so we need Buffalo to be behind us and the physicians of Buffalo to join our faculty. And it could be something simple like one hour teaching, but we would love to have as many people you know, I, I use the analogy by Buffalo, in Buffalo, mm. for Buffalo. So I want the doctors that teach to be from Buffalo and I want our graduates to stay in Buffalo. I can remember speaking with, and I believe it was someone at DeUville University, about the nursing shortage, which we've talked about so much over the years, right? And one of the issues was you didn't have enough nursing school instructors to teach the next mm -hmm. level of uh, the, the next generation of nurses. I imagine the same thing is happening with doctors, right? That's exactly where we are right now, and I'm sure many of you are aware there's a, a quote a physician burnout and a majority of physicians or are, are aging or leaving medicine early and so we need to make new doctors young doctors to step in and take the place of retiring doctors and doctors who are burning out I used to have people in my training that were in their 80s just walking around educating us mm. now by the time most physicians are 60 I've had enough and so we need to replenish that, and the plan at Uville is, is to help facilitate that. In the 20 or so seconds I have left here, how quickly can this College of Osteopathic Medicine be open and, and training the next generation of doctors? With the help of the community and more what we call adjunct faculty, we would hopefully be recruiting students and try to open in the summer of 2026. Oh, so wow. that's just about a little over a year. So all the help we can get from the community of Buffalo is what we're looking for. And I'm proud to announce that the school is coming. Yeah, and you've been working on this for a long time. Um, yes. We really appreciate you coming yes. on here to, to share the exciting news and, and put the call out to doctors uh, to help you out. Dr. Sean Cannon, Dean of the proposed College of Osteopathic Medicine at DeUville University. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having Great me. To see you.